The Outer Banks is back, season three. Start from the beginning. This pack, per the you. The way my life is going, I don't have time to put that up right now. It's the bag for me. I don't know if y'all watching or if y'all get into it. The Outer Banks is back, season three. Start from the beginning. It'll get you. It'll get you right together. I'm so excited. So it's March 1st. You already know how I start my reset, which is redoing the calendar. I did do that with you guys this time just because I'm trying to alternate between how I'm going to do it. But as y'all can see, the month is packed per the huge. Three Saturdays back to back, I got things to do. It's always packed. Story of my life. But anywho's, um, y'all know that the doing the calendar on the first day of the month really keeps me grounded. Something about not doing it. I try to really make a point to make sure I get it done on the first. Because something about not doing it on the first makes me feel like I'm already starting my month out in chaos. So yeah, reset begins. Hey guys, so I've got a package from Amazon that I am going to unbox. This this is my let me bring y'all up to speed. So I have done a pretty much a thrown into it. Um, oh this is cool. So this is my first investment. Um because I've been wanting to, the way I've been carrying my makeup around child is uh, low-key embarrassing. So I wanted something more professional because I have makeup to do this weekend, which um, I'm doing makeup for um, my Sora's birthday. They're going to see the new edition concert. And actually, I just found out that they have an extra ticket. So that's fun. So this is what it looks like. This is this is kind of like that book bag laptop material. Um, it's supposed to be waterproof. So you have these pockets here for your brushes and things of that sort here. Um, also another place to put um, things like um, probably palettes or something I probably will put there. Then it unzips here. This is the part I love. And again, more parts for your brushes, um, other little compartments to put other knickknacks and things in. You have the strap here. And then the depth of this is why I chose this one. Because you have the different compartments that can be adjustable. And then it's deep for you to kind of put, actually kind of the way it's deep, you could actually sit it standing up. And I'm going to go ahead and try it out. Um, I'm not going to pack it as of yet. Well, maybe I am. So these are two um, foundations. And as you can see, they fit right in there just like that. Standing up. Instead of having to lay down. Um, and that might be the way I do it. So I can just kind of see. Pull it out. And that's what I want to use. I can have that sitting and just have the pull out the makeup brushes. Um, so I'm really excited about this. This was, I got this from Amazon. I guess I'm going to go ahead and keep that in there, I guess. And um, it, it was on sale for $28. Um, it was normally like $39. They had different types up there. Um, but this one I felt like this was a good start for me for right now. Because I'm not taking... Well, I've been booked and busy. I've been booked and busy this month. Um, pretty much I've been taking clients since the 3rd. So every Saturday since um but i still don't feel like i have enough consistent clientele to like have like a whole bunch of um foundations and concealers yet so that's why i got this because i feel like this is a good starter um and once i get more clients and things of that sort then i eventually want to get the actual suitcase one Editing me may or may not put a picture of that on the side here the one I'm talking about um, Because I basically have been making a Supply list of things that a traveling makeup artist needs and so Part of the investments that I'm trying to do for myself because 
I'm trying to be legit. I'm trying to be professional. Sorry my energy is low. It's like 10 something at night. Almost 11. I've been on the phone with my mother. Uh, chit chatting. And I'm tired. I'm tired. Um, and like I said, I've been pretty much doing makeup every weekend. And so it's really kind of trying to catch up on me. So I wanted to unbox that with you guys. I'm Daniel has picture day tomorrow. So I'm going to iron his clothes. I have to volunteer in the morning at the book fair. It's another busy week. So I want to try to get as much rest as possible so that I am not dead to the world this weekend. So I just wanted to pop in and tell you that. I guess this will be the beginning of the, the week's vlog. It's busy. I'm going to do my best to pick up the camera as much as possible. But we'll see. Um. So yeah. Y'all look how official this ring light is. <laughs> it's the it's the bag for me. Yes. I right, gotta put y'all down so I can open it because I'm not that I, I can't do that. So it's a zip bag. You open it up. Sorry the lighting is like it is. But clearly if this is a ring light, so it ain't gonna always be this way. You have the tripod and this little thing here. I guess the little screws where it can be the camera or your phone. I have the remote. I need to keep this because I always lose it. This is where you can add the phone onto. I'm not sure what this is. I don't know. And that's the actual ring like itself. This is official, y'all. So, y'all, excuse the mess. <laughs> don't even ask. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to film everything on this SD card, but it is what it is. So, y'all, um, I am packing because I have to do makeup. Sorry the lighting. I got a tripod, but the way my life is going, I don't have time to put that up right now. Um, so I've packed the things I need for this. This, I really like this part right here for the brushes. I have right many of them in there, so I like that. There's a compartment here. I don't have all of this filled up. Well, actually, I have to lie. I got a lot of stuff in a lot of compartments. It's doing well. It's giving what it's supposed to give. But I can already say off gate, if I want to be able to carry just this type of compartment and not, I'm still going to have to carry a bag. Because one of the palettes that I plan to use doesn't fit in here. Um, about two of those. And honestly, the way these setting sprays are sitting, I don't know how that's about to work either. So, essentially... Which this was just my starter pack. My my big girl one that I want is like the suitcase. And that's definitely what I'm going to need. And I'm going to have that in a conjunction with that. Because that's the only way to really truly bring every single thing that I need. Luckily I'm only doing three faces. Um, and there two of them are similar. And the one of the palettes that I have um, can go for like both faces or whatever. Um, I might really look down. I didn't get no, yeah, mm -mm, nope, because you didn't go get no glitter glue. So, yeah, you're going to have to do that. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, I'm definitely seeing that is a good size for beginner, but you are pretty limited as far, well, as far as how many palettes you can bring. I like to bring... Well, the, the color, the look I'm doing, it has colors that I need, like, well, I'm doing two different looks. Girl, get your words together. You're tired. Um, and that's why I needed two different palettes, but I'm impressed with how much it can fit. And like I say, in the, that deep part, it's, and I can redo it, can I? Nope, I made that up. Um, in that different compartment, you can fit a lot. Of, it's really deep to fit a lot of things in there. So, if it's a little small baby, like, eyeshadow little things, it's going to give what it's supposed to give. So, um, clearly, we're going to have to graduate from this, but it's doing what it's supposed to do for now. Um, so, essentially, I'm still about to be bringing five bags tomorrow. Life of a traveling makeup artist. 